Hello and good morning everybody. My name is Maxine. Um, I am the office manager here at Sign Along and today I am going to take you through a brief half an hour or so mini workshop um, to celebrate our 30th birthday which is actually officially on Saturday but we thought we'd kick it off really really well and nice and early for you and run it through the whole of April. So I'm really pleased that you can um, that you're here and you can join us today. Don't worry if you can't, don't worry if you've got people that wanted to be here and can't be here today. As we've said in our sort of posts and everything beforehand, we're going to save all of our lives and then re-upload them all in one go on a Friday so that anybody that can't make it today or anything like that has any issues halfway through and can catch up again and you can watch it in your own time. And we're not going to delete them either. So they will be there permanently for you to come back at any point that you want to, to rewatch them and keep learning. So we're going to get into it. As I said, um, I'm going to do a mini workshop. So I'm going to briefly go through the skills um, and the methodology of how we perform our signs with you, because they are our key to unlocking the performance of all of our signs. There are quite a lot. I'm going to whiz through them as quickly as I can, but make sure that you um, let me know if you want me to slow down a little bit or you missed a little bit or anything like that, as I said, can always come back another time, but I'm happy to go through anything with you. So good morning, everybody. I can see you all sort of messaging and everything. So are we ready? OK, so sign along is a total communication system. So we use speech, sign, body language, facial expression and the whole of our everything that we have to offer to perform our signs. We are also signing in spoken word order, so different to possibly other sign systems that are out there as well. We have what is called a hop to move anagram, whatever that sort of label that you want to call it, and that is our methodology of how we perform our signs. So that is the handshape, orientation, orientation, placement, and then the movement. So all of our signs will break, be broken down consistently into that sort of format. You'll see when I start describing the signs out to you, and if you've seen them before in our sign descriptions, you'll probably understand what I mean by that. But I'm going to teach you them all as quickly as we can, possibly. And uh, <laughs> yeah, hopefully you'll be able to follow along. So we have what is known as our signing window. You can see from my position today that I'm, I'm in, and I'm hoping that you can see this in full as well, because your comments cut me off halfway, but that's fine. <laughs> that this is our signing window. So you should be able to see just above my head, out to the sides, and then just below my waist. Once these are all saved and uploaded and the comments aren't in the way for the rest of you as well, because I'm not sure you can swipe them away on Instagram, you'll be able to see that fully. Um, but yes, this is where we perform all of our signs. So some might be up into the, um, the top of our window, some might go across the middle of our signing window, out to the sides, and some performed at the very bottom. So things like sun will be up at the top, trousers will be at the bottom, things like that. We have what is known and consistently known throughout our sign descriptions as a working and a supporting hand. By default, we say that your working hand should be your most dominant hand. So for me, I'm right handed. My working hand is always my right hand. Most of our uh, um, sign descriptions are listed with somebody who is right handed. So for our um, images, sorry. So you'll see that they're performing, but it doesn't matter if you're more left handed and you're more comfortable using your left hand as your priority hand, your working hand would be your left hand. And that's fine. The other one is always your supporting hand. What we say is pick one, pick one that you are most comfortable with using. As I said, for me, it's my right hand and this will be my dominant hand. My supporting hand will be my left one. And I will consistently use that when I'm signing. So every time you read a description and it says working hand, pick the one that you are most comfortable using first. And then your supporting hand will be the next one. Be consistent with it. And we say this because it leads to less confusion when you're performing your signs to other people. Um, if you start mixing them up, it can it can change the context of the sign sometimes because some are quite similar together um, and things like that. And you want to make sure that you're consistently performing your signs correctly as you go through. So find what your working hand should be before we start off. And then your supporting hand, we say 
think of the hand that you're most likely to grab something with first. That's your, that's usually your working hand. And then consistently as I go through, we will no longer have right hands and left hands. We will have a working hand and a supporting hand. So keep that in mind. Okay. We don't refer, I'm using my trusty manual so that I get it all correct for you. <laughs> uh, we don't refer to the alphabet in our signing system at sign along we have letter shapes instead you will find that some of our signs may coincidentally use letter shapes but they are not letters of the alphabet so things like baked beans it's the same sign for the letter b and that's fine things like coffee will be the letter shape c but that's it, it's just coincidence we don't refer to the alphabet throughout our signing system they would always be letter shapes so another thing to look out for in our sign descriptions. I'm going to go through our basic hand shapes with you now. Again, these are key skills to performing our signs. So take your time, digest them, follow along if you can. And then if you need to, once these are all uploaded again, because this will be at the beginning of all of our videos through the week so that you can keep that consistency going forward, you can just refer back to it later on. So we are going to look at the Z basic hand shapes. So the first one we have is a flat hand. Our flat hand has no kinks and curves. You cannot see any gaps through any of these and your thumb stays consistently in line with the rest of your fingers, a flat hand. From there, we have an open hand. So you just open it up and stretch it as far as you possibly can without breaking anything. An open hand, nice and clear and consistent. From there, you just wanna bend your fingers in and this is a clawed hand. Then we have a bent hand. So from your flat hand, just bend your fingers down at a right angle. This is your bent hand. From there, turn it upside down. Just curl those fingers a little bit as if you've got a pool of water in your hand and you can't let any of it escape. And a cupped hand. You'll have to tell me if you need me to move either way, but I will try and give you the best visual from all the angles that we can, <laughs> a cupped hand. Then you have a bunched hand. So you take your open hand, just bring all of your fingertips in line with your thumb. And this is your bunched hand. Going back to our flat hand, we then have a closed hand. So you just wanna bring those fingers down and push that thumb against it. We want to be able to see your fingernails in a closed hand and your thumb. This is different to a fist, which is the next one, where you tuck your fingernails in and you use your thumb to hold them. So just as, as it says on the din, a fist. I already said this one, but a C hand, you take your index and your thumb and just curl them round till it makes the letter C. This does not matter that to you, it won't be a C or to you, it will be a C and to me, it doesn't. It's absolutely fine. Remain consistent using your working hand and your supporting hand and just perform the letter C. Doesn't matter what it looks like, this is still a C hand. Then you want a full C hand. You just bring all your other fingers in line with your index, so you can see all of them there, and make a really nice curved C shape. We're then going to do an O hand, and it's a very simple, keep your fingertip and your, your index hand and your thumb this and stretch your other fingers out to extend them and O hand. A full O hand just brings those other fingers in line but they do not make contact with your thumb but it keeps that really nice O shape in there. Then we have an M hand so you just take your index middle and third finger holding your uh, little finger down with your thumb an M hand. Kind of looks like an M how we remember this and then an end hand you just tuck your third finger down to leave finger finger <laughs> down to leave your index and middle fingers visible then we have an R hand this is simply just your index finger curved over like a hook so I'll show you this way so you're not using your your thumb just your index finger in here so an R hand 
Then we have a V hand, just your index and middle fingers split apart like this into a nice clear V. So they are our basic hand shapes. Then we move on to our additional hand shapes. And I will apologise, my fingers don't always work the way my brain intends them to, but hopefully I'll explain them for you. We have a Y hand. So you take a fist, you extend your thumb and your little finger, and they sort of make a Y shape. <laughs> Excuse this one. <laughs> a Y hand. So it's nice, clear, like a couple of horns kind of thing. Y hand. Then we have our index hand, and it's simply just our index finger. So nice and clear, it doesn't matter which way around it is, just our index hand. We have a thumb hand, simply just this. Doesn't matter if your thumb's all wonky and goes off to the, to the sky or anything, just a nice thumb hand. A little finger hand, take your fist and just extend your little finger. A little finger hand. Then we have an open pinched hand. So take your fist and extend your index and your thumb to be parallel. I'll show you from this way. So just an open pinched hand. Imagine it's pinching. An open pinched hand. And then a closed pinched hand, you simply close this. So same shape from this. So an open pinched hand to a closed pinched hand. Then we have a parallel bent hand. So you will take your, extend your fingers and your thumb to make this shape here. This is a parallel bent hand because so you go from a bent hand and just extend that thumb to be parallel with your fingers on the top. Parallel bent hand. Then you have a parallel flat hand, so a flat hand, just extend that thumb to make this sort of sideways V shape, a parallel flat hand. From there, <coughs> excuse me, we take an L hand, which is just your index finger and your thumb extended to make an L shape. This is how some people still tell their left and their right an L hand. And then last but not least, we have a tucked hand. This takes your thumb and your index thing, finger and you just wrap your index around your thumb. You know how you used to just take somebody's nose when you were kids? So it looks like this. So you take your thumb and wrap your finger around it for a tucked hand. And they are our basic hand shapes and additional hand shapes that we have. Don't worry if you get a little bit lost along the way. You'll probably find I trip myself up a few times too, but I'll do my best to not. But I said we keep consistency. Most of those you saw I all performed with my working hand, which is my right hand. As we go through and I read the descriptions out, I will slow them down with the description so that you can follow along and get those hand shapes all in check for you. So next we talk about orientation. And this is a combination of palms facing and hands pointing. That doesn't necessarily make sense right now, but palms facing. So wherever our palm faces. So part, these can move in six ways. Will be shown in six ways, sorry. So we have palms in because the palm is pointing in towards the middle of our sign window. So in. Then we have out. So you'll see our palm, even though it's tucked in there, is pointing out towards the outside of our signing window. Then we have palms up, so our palms will be pointing up to the sky and to the top of our signing window, palms up. Then we have down, so you'll see, even though I'm making a different hand shape, my palm is still pointing down to the floor and the bottom of our signing window, the chair. Then we have palm forward, so as you see my palm is facing you and it's facing forward. And then we have palms back. So my palms, even though different, there's a different um, sort of placement and everything, my hands and my palms, sorry, are still facing back towards me. So palms back. Then we have hands pointing. 
and we talk about our hands pointing from our wrist to our knuckles and not necessarily the rest of our hand. So wherever this part of your hand is pointing to is the orientation you need to be looking out for. Again, these move in the same six directions. So they can be pointing in. So you'll see this part of my hand is pointing in towards the middle of my signing window. They can point out. So again, you'll see it's pointing out towards the outside. Pointing up. So from here to here, it's pointing up. Pointing down. So again, nice and obvious. I'm sure you're all following along now. It's nice and downwards. We have forward. So they will point forwards towards you, the book. And then we have back. So again, pointing back towards myself as the signer. It's a lot to take in, but you'll, you'll follow along as we, as we go, I promise. So our hands and our signs can also move. So they can move in the same six directions, in, out, up, down, forward and backwards. So they can move uh, in towards us, the middle of our signing window, so moving in. They can move out towards the edge of our signing window for cat. They can move up, or quite simply the same sign for up. They can move down, like the sign for trousers, which we've already said this morning. They can move forward, like in the sign for fish. This is the sign for fish. This is the sign for shark. So fish. And then they can move back. So like in the sign to come. So back towards me. We actually recently realized that we thought that most of our signs move, but actually, Almost all of them have some sort of movement in. It's very rare that you'll come across a sign that doesn't have any movement in. So something to, to keep an eye out for. We then have circling as part of our movement. And again, same in out movements, horizontal and vertical that you would expect from movement and things. So we have circling in. So it will come from myself out and round, like in the sign for park. We have circling out, like in the sign for where. We have circling in vertically, like in the sign for school. We have circling out vertically, like the sign for sun. Have circling forward, if I turn this way you see it, so forward, as in the sign for train. And then we have backwards, like in the sign for weight and patience. We say that for circling, that we have in, <laughs> in for a hug and out for a clout. So whenever you're circling, no matter whether it's horizontal or vertical, um, just remember if it's coming in, like you're going in for a hug. And if you're going out, it's likely that you're going to hit something or someone next to you. So just remember. <clears throat> Next we have our formation and this is where they might have um, two different hand shapes but they will move together as one. So like in the sign for boat. So you see my hand shapes are slightly different but they both move together. Boat. And then you might have things like horse. To ride a horse. So something else to sort of note there. I'm going to quickly show you this one because I think it's going to be easier, but these are, are our movement symbols that we have. So probably easier for this. A basic one is just showing you the direction of the movement. This arrow will move backwards and forwards. You'll have a broken movement, so it will move forward like this. So it will go forward once and then forward again from there. Then you have this is movement in one direction and the other. So like in hello. A repeated movement. So the sign for train will happen a few times. This is where your hands move apart. So like when we had the sign for cat. 
They start together at the similar sort of place and then they move away from each other, the cat. Then we have a sign that ends with stress. So for things like no, it will end quite abruptly and quite sharply. And then these lovely ones here, which everybody usually gets confused about, these are like in the sign for bubbles. So it will open, close, open, close. So like bubbles. We then have this shape, like in the sign for man. So it will start open and it will close to a, a different hand shape. So it opens and then closes. Then we have the opposite of that, it will then close and then open. So things like light, so it's say close and then it will open to light. Then we have this nice splat, which is like a contact point. My favorite one for this one is jumper, so jumper. And then the last one you have is a small quivering hand. And this is like in the sign for tree. So they're all of our basic skills that we use to unlocking and performing our signs. Don't worry if you didn't follow along, that's fine. It's gonna say it's quite a lot there, but these will be at the start of all of our videos going forward so that you'll be able to keep up with them and hopefully grasp them a little bit better in, other than the five minutes I've been doing them with you this morning. So now we're going to learn some signs and I'm going to break them down for you, read the description out and perform the sign for you and hopefully you'll be able to sign along. Uh, a little while in, I've actually going to ask some of our fab, fab sign along users to join us and sign along with us as well from Delamere School. So stay tuned for that. But we're going to teach you the 12 signs that are on the British Values poster. Every single day, so today's British Values posters, tomorrow when we are live on Facebook, we'll have a different um, poster. Wednesdays on YouTube will be a different poster and then Thursday on TikTok will be a different poster as well. So by the end of this, you will have learned the signs by the end of April um, for 16 different posters. So, and these are nice ones that we think are signs that should be out there that are probably not very well known, um, but it's just nice to learn, to learn something different, especially for our um, new users and people that are just learning with us today, um, just to have some, some sort of signs under their belt. So the first one that we are going to learn is a sign for right. So get myself into a nice position. Just, can you see me all okay? Everybody still, I've not frozen and I'm not having any troubles. I can see that nobody's said any bad things so far that I've lost connection or anything like that, so we're good. Okay, the sign for right. We are going to take our working thumb hand, palm down, pointing forward. So my palm is facing down, my hand's pointing forward. It's going to move down to strike supporting flat hand. So we've got two on the go here. Palm up, pointing in. So this is going to be right. Sign that again. So work in thumb hand, palm down, pointing forward, move down to strike, supporting flat hand, palm up, pointing in. Right. Next, we're going to learn the opposite of that, which is wrong. <laughs> so we're going to take our working little finger hand, palm back, pointing in. This is going to strike twice against our supporting palm. Note that we have no orientation for our palm, so you can hold it anywhere, but it was just gonna strike against it twice. So working little finger hand, palm back pointing in, strikes twice against supporting palm. Wrong. And again, wrong. Sign with Abby. No, so sign along with us are actually a, a different group of people in their own right. And I believe that they use BSL in their signing. However, they are fantastic, as we all know. Um, but no, sign along is our own signing system, um, along with um, BSL and Makaton and things like that. We actually use unaltered BSL signs in our signing system, but we are a different 
um, charity. So yeah, <laughs> but we do love the work that Jade and Christian do. <laughs> so this is the sign for uh, wrong, as we said. Next, we're going to have individual. It's quite a long one, this, so I'll break it down, but follow along the best you can. So our working index hand, palm back, pointing up, held between thumb and fingers of supporting parallel bent hand, palm in, pointing forward. Then working hand moves down and makes a short movement to working side, and then it repeats. So, individual, try and do this on the side so you can sort of see. So our working index, palm back pointing up, held between thumb and fingers of supporting parallel bent hand, palm in pointing forward, working hand moves down and makes a short movement to working side and repeats. Individual. Remember when you're signing that you speak at the same time that you are signing as well. So signing encourages speech, it doesn't delay it. And that's what we want to happen with using sign along, especially for those who are non-verbal. So remember to always be clear and sign and speak. Use your facial expression and your body language at the same time as well. So again, individual. What we also say is to stop speaking when you have stopped signing and vice versa, so don't carry it on for too long, then leads you into the next one nice and nice and easily. The next sign that we are learning is voice. So working V hand, palm back and down, palm back, down. <laughs> so it's going to be on a diagonal like this, pointing back and up, and it's going to tap your throat and moves firmly forward. Voice. So from the side, voice. It's a really nice simple one, that sounds more complicated than it is. <laughs> Next we have respect. So our working index hand points to the side of temple, then closed hands, maybe we want to see those fingernails, Palms in, pointing forward, held together, make short movements, forwards, down, maintaining contact. So, respect. Quite hard one, that one. Working index hand, points to side of temple. Then closed hands, palms in, pointing forward, held together, make two short movements, forwards, down, maintaining contact. So I'll turn to the side for you. Respect. It's also a directional sign and when we say that we mean it can be performed anywhere. So this could be respect or respect. It's the same sign, it's just performed at a different angle, that's all. Next we have British values. So we'll take our opened hands, palms down, pointing forward, Make two sharp downward movements, then open hands, palms back, pointing in, held against the body, working hand above, makes alternate circles. Try and think of how this, <laughs> how this works. <laughs> I'm not very good with that thing. So this is British values. Again. British values. Next we have democracy. This might be a, an unusual sign for you, but we will go with it. So open pinched hands, both of them, as this. Palms forward, pointing up. Move back to sign up, or alternately becoming closed pinched hands. So this. And then make letter shape G, formation makes sharp movement upwards. So we start here, we'll have democracy. Again, democracy. So see how I start signing and then I speak so that it ends roughly at the same time. That's absolutely fine. It's quite a long time. You can do that, not a problem. 
So we'll try that again. Democracy. Next we have tolerance. So our working clawed hand, palm back, pointing up, tap several times against the chin. And you can use your, uh, your appropriate facial expression with this one too. So tolerance. Tolerance. Remember it's a nice clawed shape. Tolerance. Next up, I'm going to actually see if so, the next one that we are going to learn is law. Work an index hand, palm back, pointing in, firmly down to rest on the working flat hand, palm up, pointing forward. Law. Well done, well done. Next, we're going to have community. Law. So take your work, good boy, hand, palm forward. Pointing up, this way, <laughs> at the side of supporting index, palm in, pointing up, working hand moves around, supporting index, turning to palm back, so community. That's it, so community. I'll read it out for you one more time, but a lengthy one. Working C hand, palm forward, pointing up at the side of supporting index, palm in, pointing up. Working hand moves around, supporting index, turning to palm back. Community. Well done, nice and loud, I heard that. <laughs> Next we have so flat hands, palms up, pointing forward, move towards the receiver. And again, this could be a directional sign because the person that you are contributing towards could be anywhere. So contribute. Contribution to you. <laughs> contribute. Lovely. Lovely. Contribute. 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 Um, <laughs> lastly, we have responsible, which I hope everybody is, of course. We have bent hands, palms back, pointing up, held together above supporting shoulder, and the formation moves down to touch the shoulder. So I'll turn sideways so you can see it. Responsible. Got both of your hands there, bent hands. Let have a look. Responsible. Mm. Oh, that means me. Well done, everyone. Well done. Responsible. This way. So one more time on that last one. Bent hands, palms back, pointing up, held together above supporting the shoulder. Formation moves down to touch the shoulder. Responsible. Lovely. Well done, everyone. <laughs> it's nice to see you all signing along with me as well. Might be a little bit blurred, but we can see you. <laughs> so those are our signs for today. As we said, I will be saving this live today and re-uploading them again on Friday across all social media channels. So anybody who's missed or couldn't keep up uh, with the timings and everything today because you've had to shoot off, it's absolutely fine. They will be posted again so you won't miss them and they will stay there forever as well. So you can always come back and revisit them and repractice them and learn these signs over and over and over again. We also have our competition running for a giveaway of 12 months access to our sign library, which is where every sign that we have ever developed is stored and held and for you to search. So please make sure that you enter that because that's a valuable um, tool that, as I said, once you've learned those skills and the methodology of how to perform our signs, you can simply search our signs and perform any of them without any aid from us at all or from a tutor or anybody else so go along and check those out the details are on facebook and instagram posts um and yeah thank you very much for joining i hope you've enjoyed it if there's anything that you want to know please feel free to get in touch with us and we'll be happy to help but take care and have a lovely day bye